G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is Salt of the Earth. This week's, as of this recording, survival mode challenge weapon. What you're looking at here is a two-shot legendary double-barrel shotgun with 10% more damage whilst aiming and 15% faster reload. The faster reload is very good on this thing, because it's only got a magazine size of two. You see, you put the shells into barrels. And 10% more damage while aiming is also not a bad one to have. Obviously, explosive is a good effect to have on that, but 10% damage is 10% damage. Plus, we can't kill ourselves at really close range, so so as far as ultimate close range things goes, this is probably one of the most deadly ones. Now the two shot legendary effect on shotguns I haven't tested out before without explosives, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. I'm actually looking to make use out of this thing as much as we can in VATS, and I'll just let you know, this thing's accuracy is only 5. The only reason that is over 0 is because of this reflex sight that I put on it. This, what you're looking at here, is not the actual attachments which you get when you actually unlock this thing. It gives you, I think that was the refine receiver standard sights, some sawn off barrel, and I don't even remember what stock, but this is definitely what you want to load it out as. And no muzzle either, because that cuts down on your range, which you can't really have for a shotgun. So with all of that, I'll just give you a little bit of an idea of how powerful this thing is. So completely unspec, or only 6 less damage than a quite explosive double barrel. And for some reason, I feel like the damage on this went up when I repaired it over 100%, um, which is kind of odd. Maybe that's just because I was in Nerd Rage Threshold and, you know, it wasn't showing the correct damage. But I feel like it's doing a lot more damage than it's letting on or that it ought to. So what we'll do is we'll chuck on our shotgun of perks, obviously, because it's a shotgun. So there's one of those, and one of those too. Okay, Bethesda seem to have broken this perk card thing. I've also got a rank of Barbarian. Normally I have um, Basher in here, but... Honestly, I never bash, so a little bit of extra damage resistance seems to do us well. Scattershot, making them reload faster, which is good for this thing, and weighing less. That's good. They're kind of heavy, so yes, pretty good thing for this thing. Of also helping us out in the reloads is Quick Hands, which will give us an 80% chance to instantly refill, which is good. We'll be proccing that a little bit more than what you'd think. And since it's a double barrel shotgun, I've got two shots that actually works. And of course, we're going to extend our damage range a little bit more with Bloody Mess, which gives us 300 15 damage and again we're only getting slightly less than a quite explosive one so you know it's not all terrible people have been lining up to tell me it's bad so you know let's see if we can't prove these people wrong eh Alrighty, so here we are outside some high ass level super mutants, and it's occurred to me that I've done something wrong here. So here are my buffs and also my armor bits, by the way, all unyielding. Um, I didn't put a skeet shooter on, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull um, two ranks of that for that and yep no more no glow sight but honestly we're not taking on things all the time and that'll give you an idea of how much um skeet shoot actually helps with this so a little bit more accuracy does that actually change the stat of this thing's accuracy it actually does excellent so that's a lot more accuracy which allows us to do this Okay, that was a bad example, but at least we've got uh, quick hands giving us a proc straight away there, so we're able to recover from that, and I hit that guy for 69. Now, you'll notice when I hit these guys in vats that it all sort of hits in one spot. It all just sort of crowds around in one spot, which is actually kind of good, because that means we can sort of land all of our targets on the right spot. We've also got Enforcer, that's something I didn't mention, and as you can tell there, um, it sort of cripples things and stops them in their tracks, and ooh, we're getting ourselves, we're getting kind of wrecked here. Okay, I might need to rethink this a little bit. Now the recoil on this thing is very high, no doubt about that. I would go stabilized if true stuff didn't, you know, give you so much good damage, but uh, whatever. We managed to die there. Okay, maybe it isn't as good as I thought it was. Alrighty, I think what we should do instead is dial back that aggressiveness a little bit because we're obviously we're getting ourselves into a lot of trouble just by being too aggressive. So if we dial that back a little bit, it'll be good. Man, these things just aren't what they used to be at range, eh? Alright, maybe we could throw some sneak attack criticals in the mix because escape artist is on and if they're not directly looking at me, if I slip back into caution, that's an instant two times damage increase. So we'll have to worry about that. Um, aggressive thing a little bit more once we get inside, but these guys should be a little bit easy to take out. Except when I get fucking missile launched like that. Okay, maybe I should uh, worry about killing these guys. Maybe headshots. We'll go for headshots. We'll see how we go for headshots. Okay, so even at point blank range, that's only a 76% chance, but it does get that damage on pretty well. And just like... Um, what it would happen in real life if you use this thing in bats all of the pallets hit 
the same one spot and basically what happens is you just see the one number which may make it look like it's weak but they're just all stacked on top of each other go for a coin flip chance see i hit all in i think yeah all of those shots were for 101 and i think i shoot nine pallets out of this thing i think i calculated that earlier on stream when i actually unlocked this all right, I'm gonna try to use this thing as stealthy as possible in here, and it is a loud double battle shotgun, so it probably won't go well. We'll just give it a go. Hitting that guy for 93 all around, 193 with a cheeky little headshot there, and yeah, the jig is probably up at this point. Um, the good thing about having the reload perks is that I think it does stack well with, um, what's it called? Uh, speed demon as well so that allows us to you know pump more things into this or pump more shells into the thing so we can fire a lot quicker which is good to have it's a really nice thing to have especially with a double barrel so now that i've dialed it back a little bit not getting shot by like 50 people at once and whoops i just cancelled my own reload by sprinting that's something that they changed in the um that's something that they changed in the uh patch that they did that combat patch which is actually going to screw with my muscle memory for a while so when i actually want to reload cancel the sprint didn't mean to do that i just hit my touchpad i've been doing that a lot lately to be honest there we go there's a nice proc of that and uh, fortunately that one didn't have rad worms all right so i think i'm being a little bit too over aggressive now i'm not used to having my super leader been, been playing fucking fall night 76 all night so far so yep it's gonna take a while to be adjusted to becoming a superhero now why would i target that fella all right at least we got a reload out of that which is nice if we were actually you know aiming to take out the dudes in front of us all right i'm thinking the best way to run this is basically shotgun surgeon use bats to just target all of them in the head just target them in the head just hope for the best if you've got a crit definitely use it as you can tell there, um, concentrated fire helped me out a little bit, and unfortunately that stagger completely um, cancelled out that reload. We've got Nerd Rage up right now as uh, Born Survivor desperately tries to heal me. Stop shooting at me, you prick. Oh yeah, 166 damage from there, and we're able to take that guy out pretty easily. Alright, so now all our adrenaline is at high, and of course, let me just show you. Never mind, how about I do that and I kill this asshole, eh? can just jump up here that was close luckily we had a uh, born survivor again helping us out there Alrighty, let's see 583 damage that is very very strong i think the accuracy is your main problem with two shot shotguns it just seems to suck you know is there someone else in here no it's the, it's the robots it's it's the robot mutiny it's the robot uprising apparently what's Okay, they killed the robots, though, didn't they? Yes, they did. Why would they pop out? Did someone... Oh, it was legendary, too. Shit, that means he's going to explode. Yep, I'm glad I stepped away from that. And Born Survivor helps me out again. We'll just quickly reload. Onto the hell room now. So, it's it's been a rough ride so far. We've used a lot of stim packs, took a lot of damage. But we're certainly doing it in terms of damage. I guess we're making good time out of this place by not playing super cautiously which is good and the fact that we can do this is credit to the weapon not not all the guns in the game actually allow you to do this and i'm thinking that i don't actually need um bloody mess because this thing's doing enough damage to kill these super mutants in one shot right so i'm thinking what i could probably do is maybe hit ser or put serendipity on and just continue with this overly aggressive playstyle because I need to get up close and personal to do damage because our accuracy is doing nothing for us. So I reckon serendipity is actually a good idea. Can we just get a tactical switch out of that? Alright, we did get staggered but we managed to adjust our aim a little bit. Alright, so we're going to be hitting for a little bit less now but they're going to be coin flip chance of not killing us and that's worth the grenade right there. There we go. Just waking them a little bit. Wall hack that guy for some reason. Almost done here. Alrighty. Man, it was rough as guts, but we got through it. I'm just going to check how many stim packs I've got left, because I went through a bunch. Okay, I've still got eight left. I usually carry a maximum of 15, so we, we blew through half of them doing this, so 
we could tone it down, but for the interest of just trying to go relentless attacking, we sort of can get away with this, provided we've got enough Stimpaks and Born Survivor to keep us running, but ooh. I can see why people were saying that it's not really that great, but it's usable. It's definitely usable. It's got plenty of power. I just think the accuracy on this thing, you know, mixed with shotguns being absolutely dis just terrible at range, really does bring it down. If they perhaps maybe upgrade shotguns a bit so they can reach out a little bit further, I feel like that would be much better for shotguns because then they have a little bit more versatility other than being melee weapons with ammo. Wham, surprise Grafton monster fight. Look how thick this man is. How could you shoot a thick boy like that? I bet... I bet the designer on the Grafton monster did all his 3D modeling in one hand. Okay, so radworms have been cured, and looks like we've got ourselves a spawn. I've picked up a server which doesn't have a lot of people on it, luckily for me, I guess. So ghouls are a little bit squishy, so we probably can get away with one-shotting each of these guys if we hit them upper chest region. Our ammo capacity is going to let us down a little bit if we get swarmed. Where the fuck are you going? Get back here. That's right. The, even the manager is terrified of the salt of the earth right now. And, you know... Contrary to its name, this thing isn't making me too particularly salty. Um, I might be in trouble if this comes up, though. If I had gun through, I reckon I'd be using it right now, but she's a little bit broken at the moment, so, you know, no, no more gunslinger videos for a while until they get that fixed. I think that'll be next week. Hopefully it'll be next week. Also, I've got a broadsider, so send me lead for broadsider video, please. I've got a, I've got a bloodied one. It's a three star. I wanna, I wanna see it, so I can start ripping into Bethesda again if it's shit. Alrighty, so we'll try to get these guys all sprung up. There's another one. All right, in they come. Unfortunately, didn't get that proc there. By the way, you should never um, rely on quick hands proccing. It's just a nice to have something to support the. Uh, or something to, I guess, support the weaknesses of the weapon, but it's never something you should be relying on, because 18% chance is nothing. Also, I missed a 3-star right off the bat. Well, let's see if he's going to drop us anything good. Damn legendary regening. Oh, that was a chain right there. I think I chained two in a row. Oh! Thank you, Radroach. He just stopped me from being clawed there. And with that, we are not done just yet. I can still hear him shambling around. Let's let's just get our spoils of war first. Well, 40 script is 40 script. There you are. Nice of you to join me. And what, 9 script out of that? 49 script, almost 50, that's okay. And we're back into hidden, and I get some tin cans as well. Yum, 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 and yum. Okay, I'm going to be turning those into 308s, because I need them. I need them, damn it. Okay, since this one kill will probably be quick, I'm just going to show you how to actually activate the uh, damage counter. So you want to go into your options, into your display, scroll the hell down, and here you go. Here's the damage numbers. I've got them on every game mode, because they're awesome. They remind me of Borderlands, and you know Borderlands 3 is around the corner. Have I got a critical? Yes, I have. Open wide. Oh, shit, look at that chain. Yep. Swan can't stand up to this. That initial strike was pretty good, though, wasn't it? I, I like that initial two-shot strike, like, half of his health right away, and then a little bit of chaining from quick hands. Pretty good. Okay, so the crabs decided to take extra long to spawn today, so they got the drop on me. But that's okay, because I've got a critical, which I completely missed. Don't worry. We've got uh, Lucky or Quick Hands at our back there to quickly get us out of that. And Enforcer stops that guy in his tracks. Well, it did, and then he sort of got over his broken leg, as you do. You'll notice how he's heaps slower, though, so he didn't actually manage to get a hit on me. So, yeah, this thing's really good at crippling. One of the people in my Discord... Sorry, I can't remember who it was. I've been... Sorry, it was ages ago. It was hours ago at this point. Said it was a very good crippling weapon, and I agree, because you're throwing a lot of projectiles out there, and as far as I know, all of these projectiles pretty much cause some sort of thing. See, I just knocked her on her ass right there. I'm going to take out those spouts, those nasty-ass spouts of yours, because if you huck your toxic loogies at me, I'm fucked. But now, she's pretty much harmless. She can't move, she can't 
fucking huck loogies at me. So, honestly, at this point, I could turn around and take a photo. Everyone will think I'm some sort of cool guy because I can make queens die. Because everyone struggles against my alert queens, right? Look at, look at these extra critical damage right there. <laughs> Alright, time to stop messing around. Let's go for the noggin. Go for a critical. And now that is dead. And she sends out a bunch of kids post-mortem. I guess I... I guess I just got martyrdomed by my luck children. Well, guess what? I'm going to throw a grenade. Alright, that seemed to clear him out. Alrighty, we'll see what else is ready to be dead. Alrighty, welcome back to the train yard smash. What have we drawn today? Oh no, it's a gucking fulper. It's a gucking fulper. He's on fire though. Oh, there's it's just a bunch of far harbor creatures. Well, you know what? What's what's happening to you, mate, is you're getting your legs crippled, mate. And if 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 you cripple both of his legs, his animation just goes super wrong and he does the worm. There it is! He's doing the worm! <laughs> Look at him go! Oh my god, he just twists and contorts like some sort of demonic thing. I don't like it. Oh, we've got rad toads too. We've got one of every kind. It's it's fun for the whole family. Rad toads are weak though. Oh, three star gulper here. It's going down. It's got. Oh my god, he he he's regening so much. Okay, we have to stop him. He can't get us up here. Luckily for me. Oh, there's more chaining of quick hands. I like seeing that. It's like chaining of. Uh, Oh my god, another one's doing the worm. Stop it! Oh god, he touched me! Ew! Yuck, I got touched by the wormy gulper. Alright, these glowing anglers seem to be dying right quick to my shotgun. They don't seem to like it all that much. Unfortunately, there's no th such thing as... Um, that's a shit drop for a 3-star, by the way. There's no such thing as shotgun surgeon in any perk cards to actually give you armor penetration. The only shot that... The only shotty that can get armor penetration is um any anti-armor legendary shotgun, obviously, but uh, exclusively non-legendary is the uh, combat shotgun if you put a piercing stinging magazine or something like that. So it is unfortunate that we are held back quite a bit by damage resistance, especially if damage is calculated per pallet, which I, I think it might be. So, you know, even things with damage resistance of something like 50 can resist half of your damage from it, which is very, very problematic. You'll notice that all of my pallets probably aren't doing near as much as what the damage of this thing actually intends to be. But anyways, it is time to take on a bat somewhere. We'll find one. Alright, so on the dinner plate tonight is Scorch Beast Lungs with a side of fucking carnivorous plants and also Mylurk. So, yeah, gotta take the crabby dudes out first of all, just so they're not around. Alright, there we go. And basically any hit on the uh, Scorch Beast will do because what that'll mean is, and I'm glad I put Serendipity on, that's for sure, that'll cripple his wings, which means we'll be able to get him. Alright, maybe I should stop targeting the legs. We'll target the arms instead. No, can we go for the noggin? That's the stuff. That's what we want. Alrighty. So, you're about to drop down, yes? Yes, you are. Now, you're going to start pouring radiation out too, so... Might be worth chucking on diluted radex, but I think it's a little bit too late for that now. We'll see if we can't get some sort of chain of thing happening. There we go. See, easily done. So, a little bit scruffy at the start, but we've managed to figure out what this thing is good with. But I do think survivability perks like Serendipity are super important, which means this thing is going to be good with Adrenal Reaction. If you don't have that perk, get that perk. It's basically useful in every situation, unless you really don't like losing um, 50 HP, but you can get one rank of um, that, that mutation perk. Uh, what's it called? You know, the one that lessens the um, negative effects, and you'd be back down to 37, which isn't that bad. You'll never need it against enemies in this game. You can outsmart them very, very easily, but in PvP, I can see why that might be a little bit um, problematic for you. But I do think it's a good idea to have that nonetheless. So anyway, so if you'd like to see this thing in your game, uh, be sure to complete this weekly activity, which I haven't actually shown off yet. So basically... Um, Okay, apparently I haven't done it. I have milked a Brahmin successfully. Billings Homestead, you'll find this over here. What I um, recommend you do is just go close to it in um, 
just fast travel to it in adventure switch to survival mode if no one's around quickly take it then piss off if you if you can make a brahmin thing do it milk the brahmin find any of the plants there pick some plants up and i think that's most of the objectives um if you can kill any old creature with any farm tool you can find um you know things everywhere basically sickles pitchforks that sort of thing you just kill anything with them that's pretty damn easy so this one's quite a gimme and if you really don't like this thing you're not spec for shotguns not particularly interested in using this thing 40 script is reward enough itself Thank you very much for watching, guys.